So Travis Kelsey talked about playing us. And here's what he had to say. He says, I do like playing the potential, like top teams in the league early. Kelsey said, I'd rather play them early or like mid-season. I don't like playing at the end of the season outside of, I don't like playing at the end of the season outside of the division. I just feel like it's too close to the playoffs. And if I had a, ch if I have a chance to play them in the playoffs, I want to keep that game fresh. See, this is why he is very thankful and blessed he does not play in the AFC North. Because you don't make that statement right there if you play in the AFC North. You make that statement when you have the Broncos, Raiders, and um, who else you got? The Broncos, the Raiders. Oh, this is just, this is just a team in LA. I can't think of the name. Oh, yeah, the Bolts. <laughs> okay, I did it on purpose. Listen, Chargers fans, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. Anyway, though, yeah. So, you say that statement when you play in the AFC West and not the AFC North. So, I, I just find that funny. But anyway, he continues to say, um, I feel like we have always played the Bengals in December or January. In my head. Uh, I believe so, yes. We've always played either week 14 to week 18. That's usually when we play them. Um... In my head, I'm like, man, I really just want to save that game and excitement and hype of that game for the playoffs. I, I think it's also a little bit of a factor of you don't want to play us in the, you know, the end of the regular season because that could impact your playoff chances. I think there is a little bit of factor there too, but okay. Because we're the only team that could really knock you guys down and hurt your playoff chances. Now, with that being said, it comes around in the playoffs. And you're so excited. It's still an unbelievable matchup. I think it's cool that this year we play the Ravens early and we play the Bengals early. And those are going to be the two of the best teams in the NFL. So I'm excited it gets uh, those two under our belt and kind of gives us somewhere to kind of gauge where we are amongst those, uh, those teams early on. I like to see where I'm at and see what direction I need to go in right now, if that makes sense. Hey, listen, and I give him props because all this stuff here is positive. And, you know, last time I heard him talk was, you jabronis. So this is actually a lot more positive than what I normally hear. And I don't know if I would agree with his statement. Just that, you know, it's he's happy that he's playing the Ravens and Bengals back to back. So that's something that is not for the faint of heart. Back-to-back <laughs> -back AFC North games. Um, that's like, you know, pulling your teeth out of your head and expecting not to feel any pain. So we'll see how the Chiefs looked after two AFC North games. But, I mean, again, like I said, I think he's very logical at the end of the year. When you got the AFC West, you know, it's probably pretty easy when you win the AFC West for like the last 13 years, the last eight years, whatever it is. I think it's 2015. I believe it's since 2015 when the Broncos went to the Super Bowl. But, I mean, they win every single year because the AFC West is not good. So if he played in the AFC North, his statements would probably be very much different. But, yeah, again, like I said, I, I can't wait to play the Chiefs. I, I just, the reason why I'm excited about playing them early is one, we'll have the full team. No one would be injured. There would be no problems. I still don't like playing in week two, though. I wish we played them like week four or week five, just because we still have the season slow every single year. And it's almost like a meme at this point, like, oh, yeah, the Bengals, what do they do? Start off the year slow. So I kind of wish we played them a little bit later, like week four or week five. Not like, you know, later, later in the season, but like week four or week five. But you know what? It is what it is, you know? We're going to play them right after they play the Ravens. So the hope is here that the Ravens can give them the typical AFC North treatment, which is, you know, slam them to the ground and kick them in the nutsack. And then we can, you know, play them when they're already down, battered, and destroyed because we're coming off of the Patriots game. <laughs> and Patriots game should not be that tough, hopefully. Not going wood on that one, but we should be able to take care of the Patriots. We should be, you know, excited, happy. We get back-to-back -back home games, one in uh, Cincinnati and one in Burrowhead. So it's going to be pretty nice, you know. See, here's the thing about the Burrowhead comments, right? 
I don't mean no disrespect by saying Burrowhead, right? I don't. I'm not trying to disrespect Chiefs by saying Burrowhead. I'm just saying what's called. Like that's the thing. People are like, oh, you're trash talking. You're talking trash about the Chiefs because you're saying Burrowhead. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm just calling it what's name is. Okay. You guys are in, well, outside of Bengals fan, of course. Um, Chiefs fans are incorrect. It's not called Arrowhead. It's called Burrowhead. So I, I again, it's not me trash talking. You know, you guys might win this game. I think we're gonna win, but there's a chance you guys might win. But it's still Burrowhead. Like I don't know what you, I don't know what people think or want from me at that point. I get the, I get the comment like, "Oh, don't say Burrowhead, man." I'm not trash talking. This ain't the trash talking. I'm just saying the truth. It's the name of the stadium is Burrowhead. So enjoy, enjoy, guys. With that being said, um, I tried as my last video, but I do have new merch and I actually created some new designs. So I have put that Chuck in the sizzle. Uh, two different v variants of that. Run the ball, because, you know, that's something we need to start doing more. Run the ball again. I have different variants of that. I have Don't Piss a Fit. Now, I have two variants of Don't Piss a Fit, and I also have three things I love. Watching my uh, Bengals, hating the Queefs, and watching the Squealers lose. Now, I have three different variants, or two different variants of Piss a Fit, but what is Piss a Fit? Well, this is something that I started saying whenever it came to certain players, like, crying or complaining about things. And I just randomly started saying piss of fits. People started liking me saying it. Got a couple comments of people saying, like, hey, I, that's kind of funny. So I said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and make a whole entire, you know, shirt design around this. So that's that's why piss of fit is a thing. Um, I, I thought it was pretty funny, to be honest. Like, personally speaking, I know some people are going to be confused by it. But, hey, if you like the saying... Listen, it's for you. If you don't like the saying, it's not for you, right? That's kind of how this all works out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.